Hi guys, it's Simulsi here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home, and this time I am building one here in Evergreen Harbor, which is the world that came in the Eco Lifestyle Pack. So today I am back building on this lot. I've built here once before, but I'm realizing that there are still like so many lots I have not built on in this world, and I really need to like go to those lots and play around with different ideas because I need to start working on this world for my save file at least maybe get like a couple of builds done here if you guys have anything that you would really like to see for my save in this world um, please let me know I would love to hear it I definitely think when I release a version of my save with builds in this world I will have it um, I'll have it be this original version of the world I won't have it all fixed up that's up to you guys if you want to play with that story but I think most of my houses are going to look kind of like this one maybe not as bad this one's going to be pretty extreme <laughs> I really love this house though it was so much fun to build um, I was really inspired by well the surroundings definitely because there's garbage and just stuff everywhere so I wanted this house to be pretty unkept I wanted there to be you know some trash laying around I wanted the yard to be overgrown I wanted you know, just to use like the different wall decals that we have, like the scrapes and the cracks and the holes and the cobwebs and all those fun things. So I just really wanted the house to feel kind of dirty and not taken care of. <laughs> and it was so much fun. But yeah, I was inspired by the world, but I was also inspired by the last episode of Sparked. In case you guys haven't been keeping up with this series, I definitely recommend that you do. <laughs> Maybe you don't know about it yet. I'd be very, very surprised if you guys haven't heard about it, but it is called The Sims Sparked. It's a reality games show competition um, based around The Sims, <laughs> and I was a contestant on it. And the season finale is actually going to be tomorrow, which is pretty crazy. It's gone by really, really fast. And um, the last episode, um, th they broke up the teams into their individual skills so builder versus builder storyteller versus storyteller and stylist versus stylist well in the storytellers portion they had these disgusting houses and they had to sell the houses to the judges like they were real estate agents or basically make them feel appealing to the judges now this house isn't anywhere near that but i was definitely as i was watching that episode i was like oh i should build a house like that maybe i still will because this house is not to the extreme that those houses were because they were decorated really weird they had like broken pipes and they were just they're pretty crazy so let me know if you guys want to see something like that if you guys watch the episode definitely let me know but um yeah i don't i don't know if i'll build anything that crazy but if you guys want to see it let me know. The reason I didn't with this build is because I wanted it to still be playable and I felt like if I went that extreme, it really wouldn't be that playable of a house. <laughs> and so this house is definitely dirty. As you can see, I'm adding some like trash on the exterior. And here I'm putting some like broken down cars um, at the front of the house. Well, they're not just broken down. They're basically just the shells of the cars. There's not even engines in them anymore or a body. It's just like the, the front of the car. <laughs> um, but I figured they've been here a long time. Maybe at one point, the parents or one of the parents was like i'm gonna fix them up and then they just like deteriorated over time as they just sat in the weather and the grass just kind of grew over them so i thought that was a pretty fun idea but yeah anyways so let me know if you want to see a house built like the ones in the episode of sparked <laughs> episode three um i think it'd be a lot of fun but either way even if i don't this type of house was so much fun to do because i just really went crazy with just all of those like exterior or not just exterior but just those wall decorations the um different decals as you can see i'm adding them here on the exterior all the scrapes and the cracks and um putting like the smudges on the windows to make the windows feel dirty it was so much fun like at one point i was like is this a bit too much like this house is looking kind of gross but i just kind of pushed through <laughs> and i really really love it like i think even towards the end i add more cracks and scrapes and a few like oh I add like mice holes on the interior and exterior so there's like mice running around which I think is really disgusting but really fun like I just really wanted this house just to be the most untaken care of house I think I've ever built <laughs> and next to the trash cans you'll see that I added like piles of trash and garbage and I thought that was super fun and like pizza boxes and just basically as many random things as I could possibly find that was just like 
trash <laughs> and then also I added that um, mattress with like the tire and the pieces of wood and just like all that different junk I thought that was really fun to add in the backyard because I mean I don't know why you would really have that in your backyard but I figured that it was just an old mattress they planned on taking it to the dump or they planned on maybe doing something with it I don't know but they're just a bit lazy and they just left it there. Here I'm adding some stains to the concrete. It looks so nasty, but I was really happy with it. But um, yeah, so like I was saying, I um, had tons of stuff to the exterior, but I didn't want it just to be purely garbage. Um, so I add a little monkey bar set back here because there is a kid in this house. <laughs> and so I wanted somewhere for the kid to play. And then I also add a barbecue and then a planter box on the front porch so there's a few different activities but it's mostly just overgrown grass and trash <laughs> so much fun um but here on the front porch you can see i'm just adding a seating area where i put the orange camper chair is where i end up putting the planter box i did like the camper chair i thought it was kind of fun but i was like i need like one more activity to put on the exterior so yeah your sims can do some gardening um but here you can see i'm moving on to the interior i decided to go with um, the worn linoleum that came with uh, City Living. So I put that in the kitchen, the bathrooms, and even a little spot by the front door, which I thought was pretty fun because, I mean, a lot of houses that I've lived in have like a little linoleum or some sort of like tile piece by the front door. So when you walk in with like dirty shoes, you're not getting it on the carpet. <laughs> but I mean, this one has wood floors. So I mean, maybe it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but definitely the tile or linoleum would be easier to clean. Um, but I think mostly in my experience it's because there's carpet, but either way I did it here. I thought it was kind of nice. And then for the decorations, I wanted to use basically any furniture pieces that I could find that just looked either a bit older or just like not as tidy. I went with this furniture that came with Eco Lifestyle because it's just not that fancy of furniture. I was thinking about going with the ones that came from City Living, those like, um, flea market couches. I really like those ones are definitely perfect for this type of build but I liked the like I don't know I liked the look of these ones so I went with them and then as far as um, like the wallpaper obviously I'm going with maybe an outdated sort of wallpaper this one has like flowers everywhere and the paneling on the bottom looks a bit tattered so I thought it was pretty perfect for this build and I also thought the TV that came in the eco lifestyle pack was also really perfect to have in the living room because it's an older style TV it doesn't look very expensive I imagine they've had it for a long time and I didn't want anything in this house to look like it was very expensive. I did want everything to look a bit cheaper or like, you know, hand-me-downs, those types of things, or at least old. <laughs> and so I thought that TV was pretty awesome. And then on the coffee table, you'll notice that I put a ton of clutter. I put old food boxes like the pizza box, some Chinese takeout, um, a juice box, a coffee cup, just like a bunch of random things. And I really like the way that looks. It looks so messy and dirty. And in my experience, none of these things should spoil. All of the food boxes are from Eco Lifestyle and they're part of just like the debug trash. <laughs> and um, yeah, as far as I've found, you can use them and your Sims won't have to clean them up. I don't even think they can interact with them at all. So that makes me happy, but maybe you guys will want to fix this house up. <laughs> so you'll have to delete those. But um, yeah, this house could be pretty fun to completely do like a 180 on and completely renovate the landscaping, like redo that completely. Um, the exterior, get rid of all of the stains and the scrapes. It might take some time, but if you guys want to do that, I would love to see pictures. Um, you guys could share pictures on Twitter or um, tag me on the gallery, something like that. I think it'd be so much fun to take a look and see what you guys come up with. But um, Anyways, here I'm moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen, I wanted to use older appliances. I decided not to go with the counters from uh, City Living, even though they're the most worn counters that we have and they would be pretty perfect for this build. The reason I didn't use them is because I didn't want that style of counter. <laughs> so I wish every counter we had came in a version that was kind of more worn and dirty like that. I think, I don't know if that's too much to ask, but. I think that would be pretty awesome if we could just have every version just or at least the base game ones <laughs> have an option to have like I don't know stains and cracks and just like always look a little bit dirty I think that would be I think that would be pretty cool but 
either way um yeah here in the kitchen i do have a dining table that has four chairs at it i have random clutter i put an extra trash bag by the trash can <laughs> that they just haven't taken out to the dumpsters yet because you know i think it's just they're just a bit lazy <laughs> so they don't they don't always clean up things i don't think it's like their number one priority i'm not really sure exactly like what this family does for a living. I was thinking it was a single parent, like a single dad and his son, but I mean, you guys don't have to go with that story if you don't want to, but that's kind of what I was picturing as I was building it. But as far as his career or anything, I didn't really, I didn't really think of anything. So I'm not sure exactly what he does for a living, but the kid's personality, I was thinking of a little bit more. And the personality I was thinking of was like, um, you, do you guys remember Sid from Toy Story? <laughs> And he like kind of always is, he's a bit destructive. He's always a bit mean to his toys. That's kind of the kid that I imagine living here. And I thought that was kind of a fun idea. So I tried to reflect that a little bit in the bedroom, but I mean, it doesn't feel necessarily like Sid's room. It's just, it's a little bit inspired by it. But um, yeah, there you can see I'm adding some mouse holes basically all over the interior and a few on the exterior too um so i thought that was pretty fun and then here in the kitchen i felt like there was too much tile so i do go through and add some of the wallpaper that you can find in the living room and adding more holes and cracks and a few extra decorations but this is basically it for the kitchen and then the downstairs too there i'm just adding a chimney on the roof because there is a fireplace and Sometimes I do forget about chimneys, but anyways, here moving on to the upstairs. So this is the upstairs landing area or the hallway leading to the bedrooms. And I do clutter it up a little bit with the shelf here in the corner and some boxes. And I have some artwork on the walls and just kind of random things. I do end up going with wall lights up here though, cause I did want it to feel like a bit darker. Oh, but here I'm going through and adding some stains on the wood floor. I hadn't thought about doing this before, but I think it actually gives it a really nice, like subtle effect. It's not too overpowering. I think it actually looks really good considering that it's supposed to look bad. <laughs> but up here is going to be the second bathroom. So the downstairs bathroom, as you probably noticed, is a laundry room and a bathroom. I did forget the sink though. So here I'm just replacing this uh, shelf thing in the corner for a sink. <laughs> I was like, how did I forget a sink? But yeah, it's a laundry room, storage room. There's a litter box in there and a toilet and a sink. So it's just a half bathroom with some extra stuff in it. But as you can see, this upstairs bathroom is a full one with a shower and tub combo. So your Sims should be able to do all of their bathroom needs. But I did only imagine two Sims living here. I mean, you could definitely have three if you would like to, maybe more if we ever get bunk beds, but you know, I talk about that too much. <laughs> but here you'll be able to see, I'm moving on to the first bedroom and it's going to be the kids' room. I wanted this room to feel a little bit more mature than just a kids' room. So I was trying to decorate it for a teen, but then add like a few kids' items in here. I wanted it to feel more maybe like a pre-teens bedroom. But like I said, I was inspired by Sid. So I wanted things to I mean, I don't really know exactly what in this room reflects Sid necessarily, but I think some things kind of do, like the toys that I chose aren't like the nicest toys that we have in game. I mean, they're not bad toys, but they're not like the cutesy bright colored ones, <laughs> I guess, because all of our toys in the game are pretty nice. But in here, I do get um, this bookcase locker. I get the dresser from Parenthood. I thought this one actually worked pretty nicely. And up on top of the dresser, I do clutter it up with a bunch of random things. I do end up using that statue that I think came from Get to Work, if I remember correctly, but it's like that anatomy doll. I, I'm not really sure what it's called, but I do place it up here and I think it looks so good and it looks like something that maybe Sid from Toy Story would have like kind of made himself <laughs> with the different toys that he has. So you'll see it here in just a moment. Um, I put it here next to um, the pencils and pins this doll right here I think that like it looks kind of um kind of creepy like maybe they could have made it themselves and then I put a toy box in here so they could store their other toys and then I also used that I think it's called Yarny I think it just came in the nifty knitting pack I put that on the nightstand next to the bed um I felt like that kind of looked like a weird toy for a kid to have maybe I'm not really sure what Yarny is I heard it's from another EA game but I don't know what game that is, so not familiar with it. But over here on this bookcase, I do put um, some bugs and then a few toys and like random decorations. And then I think this is basically it for the room, but I think it looks really cool. It looks totally different than most kids' rooms that I do because it's, it's kind of dark and kind of dirty. And 
I really like how different it is though and I really liked actually using that newspaper wall I'm not really sure if I've ever used it before successfully maybe once or twice but I thought it was like absolutely perfect in here and then here you can see I'm moving on to the last bedroom so it's the parents bedroom like I was saying as I was building this I was picturing a single dad in this room but you could easily have two parents if you would like to because there's plenty of space you can get to both sides of the bed really easily and also this room is pretty big so if you wanted to you could probably even split it into two different bedrooms if you really wanted to one of them might end up being really small but if you wanted to have three bedrooms in this build i think you could definitely make it work but since this room was so big i was able to fit a lot of different stuff in here so i get a computer desk over here in this corner which i was really happy about because i don't know i just felt like I haven't added one recently in builds and sometimes I just kind of run out of the space but I really liked this one in here I thought it actually worked perfect for the style that I was going for with the build because of course I wanted the parents room to continue with the theme of the rest of the house to be tattered and dirty and just kind of not well taken care of it's an old house <laughs> but it's also not taken care of um, and then trying to pick artwork and stuff that reflects that and then on top of the dresser I do clutter it up with different decorations and on top of the dresser too I do add like a few different things and then the computer that I chose is like the oldest version of a computer that we have in game so I thought that actually looked pretty good and then just yeah picking out like kind of random artwork and stuff it's kind of always hard in builds like this because a lot of the artwork that we have in game either looks modern or fancy and doesn't always suit this style but I think I made it work but either way we're coming up on the end of the video so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots so thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon bye My apartment is a mess.